This is the Blue Rams wire-free battery or solar powered Wi-Fi security camera and it is pretty affordable but there are some features that are limited and might not work for you and we'll talk about in this video. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to review the wire-free battery powered or solar outdoor Wi-Fi camera from Blue Rams. And they just named this simply Wire-Free Camera 2K or the A11C. I got interested in this because it is on the cheaper side of the battery-powered Wi-Fi camera category. I did review a couple of other products from Blue Rams and I will link those review videos in the description down below if you want to check them out. But I still have been using their Dome Light 2 which has been working good. Thank you Blue Rams for sending me this camera to be reviewed. Also, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate it. We will check out its features, do a quick unboxing, set up and install, and check out the video and audio quality, and run our usual tests, and see if this affordable, wire-free Wi-Fi camera from Blue Rams will be a good option for your home. This is 100% wire-free and it has a built-in 5200 mAh capacity battery, which Blue Rams states that the standby time lasts from 3 to 5 months. But this has, and the one that I'm going to unbox, will have a solar panel option to continually top off the camera's batteries. This camera records in 2K resolution, 2304 by 1296 pixels at 15 frames per second in both daytime and at night, and has a 127 degree diagonal field of view. It has a built-in three white LEDs for color night vision, and also has the traditional infrared black and white night vision if you want. It is weatherproof with an IP66 rating and it has AI human detection, two-way talk, and siren alarm. Now as to the recording, sadly, this doesn't have local recording. It doesn't have a micro SD card slot like their other cameras. It records to the cloud only and you will have access to free 15 second recording per event as per Blue Rams but in my testing it is only 12 seconds and for 24 hours. So if you use this without subscription, you will not get the whole motion event. And for the purpose of my testing, I have to sign up for their cloud recording. And it does have a one month free trial. Now I reviewed the last two Blue Ram cameras without subscription because they have the micro SD card slot where the footages are recorded. But this one doesn't have it. Opening the box and I have the solar panel bundle. We have the quick start guide for the solar panel and we have the solar panel itself nice thin profile and we have the quarter 20 screw thread mount here on the back and the 10 foot micro usb cable is already attached and it does have a rubber gasket here for weatherproofing it comes with a plastic mount for the panel and mounting screws and plastic anchors and i appreciate that the screws are stainless steel and we have a user manual for the solar panel and we have the camera box we have the user manual and the camera that looks like the Arlo's. We have the camera lens, light sensor, and we have some LED spotlights and the status light. We have the PIR sensor here and the mic. On the bottom, we have a rubber flap that covers the reset switch and the micro USB port for charging. On the back, we have the quarter 20 screw for mounting and the speaker. We have the accessories box. Inside, we have a short micro USB cable to charge the camera. We have a plastic mount and the mounting screws and plastic anchors. Time to set this up. Open up the Blue Rams app, click the plus sign on the upper right corner, and click the A11C wire free camera. Press and hold the reset button for 3 to 15 seconds until the red and blue lights flashes. Type in your Wi Fi connection which it only connects to 2.4 gigahertz and it will generate a QR code that you need to show to the camera and wait until it is connected. Now so that I can record more than 12 seconds, I did sign up for their free first month trial, 15 days video history. After the first month, it will be $5.99 per month. Time to install this. Screw in the plastic mount for the camera with the three included screws. Screw in the ball head and screw the camera in. As to the solar panel, screw in the plastic mount with the three included screws. Screw in the ball head on the back of the solar panel and screw it into the mount. Plug in the micro USB plug from the solar panel to the port on the bottom of the camera, making sure the rubber seals the edges for weatherproofing. Now personally, I would not place the solar panel under the eaves. I just did it for filming. And because the mount is too short to clear my rain gutters, I will use the already installed Reolink extended mount to properly position the solar panel to get the most sun throughout the day and just some wire management and it is ready to go. Not really a clean install, but it will do. Quick check on the settings in the app. When you open up the app, it will show the recent motion snapshot from the camera. And when you click on it, it doesn't go to live view like other apps. 
it will go to the last motion recording. You have to click the go live on the bottom and click tap to activate to get to the live view of the camera. Kinda cumbersome. In live view, you can change the quality of the stream, low, medium, or high. You can take a snapshot or record the live view or listen in. On the bottom are the motion recorded events on the cloud. In the bottom, you can manually turn on the siren or start two-way talk which is full duplex. Click the gear icon to get to the camera settings. In the notifications, the regular motion notification is separate. And I turned this off so that there will be no false motion alerts because I just used their AI person detection and I also toggled the rich notification to on. Stop notification time is where you can set a schedule for your notifications. And the frequency, you'll get a notification every minute or up to only once an hour if you want. The camera will still record all motion events, but you'll only be notified on the time frequency you set. Quality and bandwidth, set to low, normal, or high. Night vision, auto, on or off, and you can choose infrared black and white night vision or if you want color night vision where the spotlights will turn on and record in full color. We have storage and I said earlier this camera only records to the cloud and detection distance and this is you can only set it to near, normal or far. Take note, far this is only 3 meters, normal is 2 meters and near is only 1 meter. Now blue rams, I'm not sure if this is an error but you will see later in the testing how this camera performs. By set it to the farthest which you state 3 meters and as you know 3 meters is only a shy of 10 feet. PIR sensors on most cameras can get triggered up to 25 to 35 feet. And lastly we have the power info. It shows the battery level but it doesn't show that it's being charged by a solar panel. Now time to do some testing. This is the video and audio quality of the Blue Rams wire camera. Video clarity set at 10 feet. 15. video quality of the Blue Rams Wi-Fi 2K camera at night and this is an intelligent night vision which uh, is her night vision first but when set in motion it will turn her spotlight on it to be in full color recording and this is what it looks like at 10 feet 15 20 So this is the video quality of the Blue Rams wire-free camera at night and this uh, is this infrared night vision mode and it has the core infrared LED and this one looks like a 10 feet, 15, 20, We are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the wire-free Blue Rams camera and I'm on my LTE connection and it is 1210. So let's check it out. <coughs> Status light turned on and there's a little bit of a delay. There you go. I got a notification and when you click on it, there's a snapshot preview and when you click it will go to the recording but it's not being recorded it's still the recording yet so you have to activate live view there you go that's live view all right so it just turned to 12 12 so it's less than a minute so let's see what the cool off is and the cool off and the recording cool off is not adjustable well we'll see the status light is on so it should be recording and i got a recording again cool so it's less than a minute. We are going to test the maximum detection distance of the wire-free Blue Rams camera. And let's start off with at 40 feet. And the sensitivity, I set it to the highest. There are only three levels, so this is the highest sensitivity and person detection only. I still don't see the status light. Wow. 
All right, 15 feet. Come on, Blue Rams, you can do this. You can do this. There you go. <laughs> Dang, 15 feet. Oh, there you go. Wow. That's pretty short distance and its detection is set to the highest sensitivity. We are going to test how soon the wire-free blue ramps can detect and record me when the motion is going towards the camera. And I'll base it off on the status light. Uh, it turned on but it's a little bit too late. I don't think it will trigger it. This is in person detection only. Wow. Nope, that didn't work. And this is the fifth test. There you go. It turned on the status light, but because that one worked, let me see. Finally, on the fifth test. This is the audio quality coming out from Blue Ramps Wire Free Battery Powered Wi Fi Camera. This is the audio quality coming out from Blue Ramps Wire Free Battery Powered Wi Fi Camera. All right, these are my observations while testing this camera. First, I noticed that the video quality for a 2K is not that great. It looked okay in my phone, but when I watch the footage on my computer, there are a lot of compression artifacts, and my face is just a blur. Detection distance is very limited, but it is better than the 3 meters that Blue Ram stated, but still only 15 feet in my testing. Now, if we just want to use just the AI person detection and turn off the regular motion notifications in the settings to minimize false motion alerts, more than likely, you will not get notifications when someone is going towards the camera. You will still get the recording, but even then, it will just record late just because it only detects within 15 feet. As for the app, first there's no setting to turn off motion detection. You can turn off the notifications, but not the recording. So if you and your family are outside or in the monitored area for a while, the camera will continue to detect and record and waste battery life. This camera has a spotlight, but there's no manual switch in the app to turn it on. Let's say you're watching the live view, you can manually switch it to turn it on for color recording. Lastly is the app itself and how Blue Rams do their advertising. They're too distracting and I thought if you sign up and pay for their monthly subscription, it will go away, but it doesn't. If I'm paying, I don't want any advertising in the app. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.